Oh, they're sort of be doing a look with the ColourPop Labella of the Ba palette. I'm probably saying that wrong, but that is okay. Check out my horrible lip gloss application, but whatever, the lip gloss is still good and cool looking. All right, why do I never remember the shifter? Shifter acquired. Okay, so we're gonna use the Wet n Wild. Oh. Ooh, crease brush, I think that's what it's called. We're going to the shade Serene Sable. And I'm already primed with the ABH primer. Almost eased it up, actually. So, might just take these next couple of weeks and finish it out because I do have a backup of it so about a backup of it because I didn't know if they were discontinuing it or whatnot you never know what brands nowadays and then we're going to two and two with that shade Taylor's ticket Ta oh Taylor's ticket and it's got a lot of sparkles but you can't really see over here. It's not, it kind of fades out. Kind of flicked off. That's what it did, it flaked off. See, it flakes off, but you can't really tell though on your skin. I've been looking at it all day, so. I'm just gonna take that right above our first shade. Like, you know, my normal style here. You guys watch me evolve. Eyeshadow, hair. Now that I've got that to where I want it, for the most part, we're going to cut our crease using the JSC Concealer C0. I've almost used that up too. I'll have a products empties video for you guys not too long from now. Now I got that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Mint Melt Elf Eyeshadow Brush. It's called Eyeshadow Brush. And we're going to go into the shade. This is a really powdery palette, by the way. Custom Design. This shade right here. I'm just going to take that all throughout. Starting from the back to the front. Okay, so now that I've got that like that, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Glue with this uh, Glam Light brush. I came with one of my palettes from them. I'm just going to squish just a wee bit of the glue. I'm just going to pat that right in the center. And then I'm just going to, like I said, this palette, very powdery. They're all really powdery. We're going to go to the Able, 
gosh, too close. Able Sisters Glitter here. So I'm just going to pat it right here in the center where we put our glitter glue. So then I'll just go back in with the mint mount brush into the custom design shade. And we're just gonna spiff that up on our outside. Just spiff it up on the inside. And we'll go back in with the Elf Jacob's J4 brush into that first purple shade we used, which is Shireen Stable. Sable, Sable, Serene Sable. Just floof it out, floofing it out. That's what we're doing. And you see how much um that glitter just changed that whole look. Right in the center. I thought that was a little different from what I normally do. All right, so. As you can tell this has got heckin powder to it all right so i'm gonna clean this up try not to get distracted and come right back here's our ending look using the la bella of la ball animal <laughs> animal crossing little palette using all four shades And a lip gloss is Tainted Well from Sparkly's Glittering Gloss. So if you like it, it's pretty pigmented. I'm just a crappy applier. But that's how she looks going on. If you wanted to know. I did have um, LKBD uh, Lip Shade Requeem on, but I liked how this went way better with it. Like, you know, the darker look to it. So I put this on for my video. Yeah. So, yeah, hope you liked my video and hope to see you in my next one. Bye.